Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a 1911 Kimball piano that, uh, that has just barely come out of the shop and it's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really happy with how it turned out. <clears throat> this, is a, this is a pretty thorough restoration of this piano. Um, it uh, was, is kind of a hybrid version of, of what we do. That it's, it's not quite a complete, complete rebuild with, with all new components, but neither is it just a refurbishing. It's got a lot of major new components like hammers and dampers, um, keys, and of course we've refinished it. I'll show you all that in a second. So it turned out great. Kimball, Kimball has a pretty illustrious history. It's a, um, it's a kind of an upper level um, piano manufacturer that, uh, especially at, at this stage in the game, back in back in the 19 teens or, or pre World War One era. Um, and uh, yeah, I've worked on lots of them, and they and they they turn out great. Okay, so everything that we've done cosmetically, I'll start there. Is the, the piano is completely refinished. This is uh, the this name is called Van Dyke Brown, and it's a it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful job. Looks really nice. Feels very smooth and clean. It has a, has a beautiful consistent sheen to it. Um, then the then the the hinges and hardware and that sort of thing all is all is either replaced or replated. These kinds of things and the lock, all of that. Is just a cosmetic thing, but uh, but it looks really nice. And then of course the pedals; those are the original 1911 pedals um, that uh, that we've replated. And uh, yeah, that's that's how I prefer to do it. The it, that's a very very durable um, approach, and and I just kind of like having the the original uh, pedals. That needs to come then, kind of continuing on with the cosmetics, you can see that we have we have a uh, replica. Of course, that's that's a modern decal, but that's a replica of exactly what was there originally 106 years ago. Uh, then, of course, knobs and bumpers and that sort of thing. So, so I think that, that from a cosmetic standpoint, this piano is basically um, exactly what you would have seen. In, in that era. Okay, that is just a tiny fraction of, of the restoration work that we've done on this piano. The other part of it is the inside where we've done lots of restoration work as well. So for example, the hammers are all replaced. These are these are new modern dampers, or, or, or hammers. Sorry, Ham, new modern hammers that uh, they've got a great tone. These are these are high quality hammers that we've we've put on literally hundreds of sets of pianos and uh, or sets of hammers on pianos, and they they turn out great. These dampers, same thing. Um, we've we've uh, replaced many 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 pianos with the sets of dampers with these. Uh, these felts. Uh, something else that we do is we put on triple dampers, which at the time I think the the standard for dampening was much lower than what it is today, and so the triple dampers are in the base. They're much longer. They have a much broader reach, and they do a much better job of of um, of dampening much more quickly. Whereas when this piano was manufactured they would have rung on for, for quite a bit longer than they do now. And, uh, and I think that's simply a matter of, of how tastes have changed and, and expectations what people are wanting. And then down here, we've completely rebuilt all of the trap work. So everything from this bottom panel to sanding all that stuff down, just making it all clean and fresh and new, and replacing felt and leather, and um, really just making it function perfectly once again. Of course, other things that I'm sort of glossing over, just for the sake of speed in the video, like bushings, um, bridle straps, and, uh, um, and other other components. Um, Every, all of the action has been, of course, completely tightened, uh, lubricated, all of the hammers are aligned. Um, 
and and we end with uh, with of course a full regulation that uh, uh, makes the touch exactly where it's supposed to be. So um, I guess the only thing left at this point is just to just to play it, hear how good it sounds. It's fun to work on these old pianos, especially a piano like this one because it really kind of um, is uh, a demonstration of the craftsmanship and care to detail that was, that was taken on, on things like pianos and furniture and that sort of thing from this era. big rich full tone. I'm really happy, really proud of, of uh, pianos like this, this one in particular, but uh, but if this one maybe doesn't fit your aesthetic or, or you're looking for a slightly different tone, we've got lots of others to choose from. We've got just a few in this lineup. We've got tons of them that are that are in the other room over there and, and we've got quite a few that, uh, that come out just about every week out of the shop. So uh, come in and check it out, see what you think. You can call the store at 801-701-0113, or if you want to uh, stop by, the address is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Uh, or the uh, third option is just to, just to purchase the piano sight unseen if you're, if you're maybe not local or um, uh, out of state or whatever. We've shipped quite a few pianos out of state. It's actually quite a, um, uh, economically, reasonable, more, more reasonable thing to do than you might expect for such a large object. So we've, we've done that quite a bit and, and uh, you can be confident that this piano is as represented and, and no question you won't be disappointed. This piano is a great piano, beautiful, sounds good, plays plays beautifully, very smooth, consistent, nice touch. Um, yeah, and it, and it will continue to endure without a doubt for many, many decades to come. Thanks for watching.